So um, I'm going to read on. It says, Soon a proud nation was reduced to foraging for food, stealing stray cattle, and taking jobs in white homes. All right? So basically, you made them completely subjects back up under you, even though they were already. But now you brought them even to a lower state, man. You know? Some scouts left for Mexico with their families and their places were taken by eager Afro-Americans, Mexican Seminoles, and other red and black Indians. All right? So, um... You know, basically during that whole time, that just, that just shows you, you know. And um, I want to grab a scripture, um, you know, real quick based upon that, man. All right. And um, what I got here is uh, yeah, uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter five and one. It says, "Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors." So that goes into the account when John Horse was trying to get that um. That, that that treaty to go through and get the um the copy for it and you know and he went to the war department and they said they have no no record of anything man you know all right so um i'm gonna go on and read a little more to read a, uh, another portion to show you how these devils even further did all right all right so um this is basically at the end of um you know um the lieutenant bullis's um you know, service during the army, all right? So, um, I'm going to read a little account of this. It says, um, they, uh, Bullis was honored as the friend of the frontier by Texans and later became a brigadier general in the army. He was presented with two handsome swords by appreciative local citizens and listed in who was who in America. He was once called the greatest Indian fighter in the history of the United States Army, all right? And it says, um, death of a nation. The brave Seminole Negro Indian scouts did not share in, his, share in this glory, although the unit was not formally dissolved until 1914. It had lost heart earlier on the night Adam Payne was murdered. So, you know, just to show you, like, how they want to give all credit unto devils, you know, that... This devil Bullis, he was regarded as the greatest Indian fighter in the history of the United States Army. Like he was out there fighting them, them battles alone. But when you go further back into, you know, um, the time that he spent out there, you know, you had the Jake by the name of Pompey Factor that actually saved his life, man. You know, he was stranded out by it was four men, you know, of their army up against uh 20, 25 Comanches, man. You know. And they went up at him head on, but you know, then you had um uh Bullis, he was he was straddled back and he fell off of his horse, okay. And then you had Pompey Factor, he came and he scooped him up and he saved him on his horse and he rode him to safety, man. But they want to give this credit to this devil Bullis, you know, as he was the great great American hero. But it was Jake who was the former of all things who always wound up pulling through, man, you know. It's Jake who had that top courage and that top fighting skill, man. Not this damn devil, man. All right? So um, just to further on, more read uh, of the point of this um, uh, Jake uh, Pompey factor and a little history on beyond this, all right? It says, uh, For many huddling in the temporary village outside Fort Clark, the last straw came during the early morning of a New Year's Eve dance in 1877. A local sheriff and his deputies rode out to arrest Adam Payne in connection with the murder of a black soldier. Payne had a reputation as a tough man and had earned a Congressional Medal of Honor. The sheriff may have planned his next move or just lost his courage. At any rate, he did not arrest Payne but blasted him from behind with a shotgun at such close range that Payne's clothes caught fire. So that, that, that shows you the cowardice of a devil. You don't want to face a Jake you know what I'm saying? Dead on, but you want to shoot him in his back, man. You know? That's the snake that he is. All right, so reading on, it says, This pointless violence sent shockwaves through the entire community, and five scouts led by Pompey Factor immediately packed up and rode off to the Rio Grande. They paused only to wash the dust of Texas from off their hooves and then continued on into Mexico. And that's right, accordance with the scriptures, man. 
you know I'm gonna read that part again it says they pause only to wash the dust off Texas from their ho horses hooves and then continue on to Mex into Mexico so after you know one of their guys got blasted in the back said what they they only uh, stopped to wash the dust off of their feet and their head on into Mexico and that's right in accordance you know with the scriptures man you know because uh, Matthews 10 and 23 but when they persecute you in a city flee ye into another for verily I say unto you ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel to the son of man be come so the point is what when you persecuted in one city flee ye into the another and that's exactly what these jigs did man you know when it, when they saw that happen to you know their fellow brother they said this is enough man you know what I'm saying? We shaking the dust from off of this place and we heading back to another land, man. You know? So, um, I'm going to read on a little more. It says, um, <clears throat> yeah, it says, uh, Pompey Factor, as a young private, helped save the life of Lieutenant Bullis, right? Just upon speaking upon the account, what I was getting into. You know, you have four of their army going up against 25 Comanches. And, um, you know, um, Pompey Factor, he wound up saving uh, Lieutenant Bullis' life, that devil's life, all right? So it says, Pompey Factor, as a young private, helped save the life of Lieutenant Bullis and received the Medal of Honor. But years later, he could not even get an Army pension. In his late 70s and still carrying the empty case that once held his medal, he asked a Texas lawyer to plead his case before the Army brass. It was no use. The army responded that it had no record of his service. Once again, going back to what wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. They bear no account of our labors, man. How you do all of that for this army? You saved this damn devil. You couldn't get no army pension. And now you go into a Texas lawyer to plead your case unto the army. They respond they have no record of your service, man. That's why the scriptures speak upon the fact that this place is not our rest, man. We can't look unto this place for no type of anything, man. So no type of so-called, no type of help, no, nothing from this place, man. All right? That's straight wickedness, man. Said the army responded that it had no record of his service, man. Straight devil work, man. All right, reading on it says, Two years later, in 1928, Pompey Factor died and was buried in Brackenville, Texas. His funeral expenses of $86.40 were paid by a friend because he died penniless without an army pension. All right? So, Pompey Factor died penniless without an army pension, man. For all of these things that Jake did, you know, for these devils, you know what I'm saying, and the, the treaties that they broke and, and everything, the, the, the courage, the strength, the might and everything that they showed, the valiantness, everything that they showed during this 11 year period of going to war for these devils making the trees, they got shitted on, man. You know? So, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just get this last scripture, you know what I'm saying, of what uh, I based this lesson off upon. Is this one scripture in um, Sirach 26 and 28, man. All right? There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty, the men and men of understanding that are not set by that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepares such and one for the sword. So the point was in the scripture, I'm saying the one one of the things that make the Lord angry is a man of war that suffereth poverty, man. And you know, for, for Jake, that's that's all we had to look forward to, man. You know, nothing but poverty. No matter what we did, you know what I'm saying? You know, Jake try to sell the way, try to seek a way out. But that just furthermore shows the point that this is not our rest, man. You know? So, um, you know, with that, you know, I hope, uh, you know, this bit of uh, information, you know what I'm saying, was edifying and, and furthermore proving the point, you know, that spirit does bear witness that we are the children of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? And showing more reverence of why these devils have to pay and why we look for a, a better in a more eternal rest which is the kingdom all right so um you know with that i'd like to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh by shim yahweh shai the buanas to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and shalom to lekman out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity shalom and death to america
Still somehow I believe we'd always survive.